Hi, welcome to Two Your TV, the online video about online video. Um, check us out at our website, tubular.tv, or on YouTube under Media Spinner. That's our username. Anyway, I'm Katie, and we just want to give a quick thank you to blip.tv for posting us as one of their hot episodes for all of 10 seconds. No, I'm kidding. I think we're up there longer than that, but by the time I clicked on the link, yeah, we weren't there anymore. But we were there for a little bit, so thanks, Blip TV, for picking us. Yay! Anyway, on with the show! All right, so we have our YouTube video awards up today. So the most inspirational was Free Hugs, Best Series, Ask a Ninja, Best Commentary, The Wine Cone, which is, I guess, like a funny dude with his own take on Your Beautiful song. Who hasn't done that one yet? My life is lonely, my life is sad. I saw the girlfriend I'll never have. Our most creative OK Go music video for Here We Go Again. Best comedy, Smosh Short 2, uh, Stranded. The best music video was Say It's Possible by Tara and Naomi. And the most adorable was Kiwi, a 3D computer animation done by Dory Permetti. Uh, today we're going to talk about advertising on YouTube in a way. Um, a lot of these movie companies have been posting these fake video blogs to promote their movies. I'm sure you've seen them by now, like Need to Know for um, Bruce Willis and Halle Berry movie Perfect Stranger. My husband had accidentally left his computer on and I happened to be working at his desk and the name popped up on the computer. Mm, I couldn't help but look. The name read Fast Philly. <laughs> she had some pretty interesting things to say to uh, Adex, which is my husband's oh-so-obvious uh, handle. He's an advertising executive. That's really what it's like, and I think it's kind of it's kind of cool and it's kind of shady at the same time because it's like, well, it's not a real video, um, and it's professionally done, so it's sort of like flooding market of amateurs. It's kind of mean, really. Like, well, look at it. I can make a better video because I've got a bigger budget than you. And it's kind of a sleazy advertising campaign because it's like trying to fool people into seeing something, you know? So maybe there really isn't such thing as a perfect stranger. Remember, actions have consequences. But I have to give them props for trying a new one. Uh, and then also there was People for the Advancement of White Lies have been putting out these videos about white lies to promote a, uh, what's his name, Richard Gere movie called The Hoax, which is based on the life of Clifford Irving, a guy who writes a fake book um, <laughs> and then tries to prove that it is right. I tell my boyfriend he's the best sex I've ever had. That's what he wants to hear, so whatever. A white lie is the right lie. Brought to you by People for the Advancement of White Lies, www.welovewhitelies.com. Um, YouTubers don't seem to respond to all this kind of advertising. Uh, here's a video of a guy's response to the white lies. People for the advancement of white lies, I hope to bring about your demise. Why? Because you tell these huge disgusting lies. You come off innocent. And also if you look at the comments on a lot of these, they're not very receptive of it. They, they're like, Dude, don't you guys realize this is a fake video? This is a fake video. This is a fake video. So they're really not pretending very well, I suppose. Um, maybe they should lower their resolution on their videos to make it look a little bit more fake. I don't know. Use a shittier camera, I guess. <laughs> so on to a new topic. Uh, last summer, Senator from Alaska, Ted Stevens, uh, fumbled through this whole speech about what the internet actually is and, you know, furrowed his brow a lot and said it's a series of tubes and that ended up on a lot of videos around the place because obviously the internet is not a series of tubes. I would call your attention to Title IX. It really is the Internet Consumer Bill of Rights. Now, we have consumers who use this Internet, and we have commercial users who use this Internet. It's a series of tubes. The, 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 the. It's not something that you just dump something on. The, 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 the. It's not a big truck. It's a series of tubes. Just the other day, got internet 
was sent by my staff at 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday. I got it yesterday. Tangled up tubes. That's been parodied on The Daily Show and everything, and his big fear is that you can dump anything on the internet, and that's a bad thing. My feeling is it's the only place where you can actually dump everything, so maybe we should keep it the way it is. I don't know. I mean, what else are you going to do with all that garbage? Got to go somewhere, you know? We don't have a virtual dump zard. It's just going to... If you don't want to see it, don't look at it, all right? You don't like porn? Don't click on porn sites. Why are you clicking on porn sites? You're an old man, okay? Stop it. Anyway. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> Give it to no, yourself. No, I'm, I'm clean, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> What's this computer been doing? <laughs> Why would you do that to a Mac? <laughs> Terrible. F. <laughs> F. <laughs> anyway, so this whole thing about the internet being a series of tubes might get a little bit harder to control later on because IBM has promised that in three to five years we're going to have a chip that can download high definition movies in a single second. I am drooling just thinking about that. Okay, like that's how awesome this chip is going to be. Um, they just like, you can download 160 gigabytes. Gigabytes! Like that's three times the size of my iPod. You can download that in a second, you know? Like, it's an entire library of things you can download in a second. It's an amazing amount of information that you can move faster. And it's just going to make the internet faster. And it's going to make it bigger. And it's going to make it more interconnected. And, you know, suddenly we're all giggling about the times when we used, you know, cable to get on the internet instead of, you know, our 56K modems. Ooh, remember those days? Oh, wow. I think I was like nine back then. Um, everything is going to be better quality. It's going to come at you faster. It's going to... I mean... Like, you can't control it. You can't stop it. You can't say that <laughs> it's a series of tubes and you can't dump things on the internet anymore because people are already doing that. You lost your control when the army gave it up, all right, dude? Like, it's over. Just, it's ours now. You can't have it back, okay? And don't try and mess with it because those people know a lot more about computers than you do and they will hack you and they will show your porn all over the internet. <laughs> it's cool. All right, Mr. Steven, so you know, drop this whole net neutrality thing you've got going on. That's not neutral, you know. How dare you. Anyway, I think that's it for us today. So thank you for watching us on YouTube or tubular.tv, which is better because I have better videos, higher quality, um, longer clips we can show. Uh, gives us some money. We like the money. Keeps us running. Keeps us, you know, paying for the lights and the green screen and, you know, the use of our garage here. <laughs> Why do we have a garage? Our studio is a garage, by the way, in case any of you want to know. Um, it does a pretty good job, but it's really cold in the winter, which is why all the early clips I'd be like wearing coats. <laughs> now it's warm outside. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but check us out, alright? Keep an eye on us. Don't let them take away your tubes. Goodbye. <laughs>